have on today. Okay, All right. Be here. Amazing. And can you hear me okay? Yes. Is I it can. delayed? Okay. Like, I can't tell if it's delayed or not. Um, okay. I don't know. So, <laughs> you're okay? All right. All right, everybody. So we have Grace here. We're so excited to have you. Are you ecstatic about your line? Yeah, I'm so excited about my line. It's been a long time in the making, so glad it's finally. <laughs> Yay. Well, we're so excited. Um, so I guess we can just start with talking about your collection, introduce it, and then we can go through each leotard too. Is that cool? Okay, amazing. Um, so go ahead, you can introduce the collection. <laughs> Tell us why you named it that way, and then we'll go through the three Leos. Let's do it. Okay, um, my collection is called The Journey. It's just kind of mm -hmm. exemplifies or shows my journey from masks to college, and each Leo has a different meaning behind it that's very special to me. So I'll start with... Mm -hmm this one it's hard to pick the best one because they're all I great right <laughs> it's so pretty i love the the back um, is amazing one this was always pink and white so i felt like it was just fitting that i had a pink and white leo in my line um totally but i always felt uh, this one's called quiet confidence and i feel like that's also very fitting because i love that i always had it for my first meet of the year at US Classics. Um, and that's where I, you know, you just come in kind of quiet and then you gain confidence from that meet. And so um, it holds a very special place in my heart, um, but I absolutely love it. And then we have this one. Also, you can't go wrong with pink, right? Yeah, all, <laughs> it's just, I love that color. And there's this one. Also, Grace, I think this one is my favorite. I love, I'm not as, I love blue. I do like blue. It's not my favorite color, but I think this is my favorite one. I mean, like, it is amazing. Sparkle and the way it's like designed. It's I perfect. Great job on it. Um, and blue and white was also one of my signature colors. I had a Leo in blue and white every single year I did Elite. Um, so I, I really, really love this one. I think it's very pretty. Um, yeah, lots of sparkle. <laughs> and what was the name of that one, Grace? Sorry, it, it cut out. This one's called Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. Okay. <laughs> it's actually both of these Leos, the pink one and the blue one, are all uh, both kind of replicas of Leos mm -hmm. I had, like competition Leos I had in Elite. So okay. I thought that was kind of cool that I competed in these Leos kind of. Amazing. Yep. Now, did we save the best for last? Is the yeah, third one your favorite? <laughs> I like this one a lot just because I designed it <laughs> and love, kind of put a lot of work into it. I mean, it's simple and who doesn't love a black leaf? Let's see it. <laughs> oh yeah, classic, totally. Classic black leaf. I leaf. love it. And then I it's love- It's amazing. But also- The back I, is phenomenal. And on the Leo, I think always looks very flattering. So yeah. Well, Grace, your line is fantastic. I feel like everybody is loving it. Do you maybe want to just talk about your experience with designing the leotards, the line, you know, all like the energy and the fun that went into it? Anything you want to add? Yeah, I think it's kind of every little girl's dream to design their clothes. And so when Ozone asked me to do this, I was so ecstatic. And I've been wearing Ozone Leos all of my elite career. So I thought it was very cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of work goes into these Leos and a lot of For sure. things that people don't always see, like communicating back and forth. Like, I think this would look good. Do you want to try this? Do you want to do this? What about these straps, these gems here, like the ombre. So it's really and cool. And it's a lot of work, especially with like everything else that you're doing aside from this. It's a lot of work. So that yeah, was just training school and doing this stuff totally. it's a lot <laughs> but it's definitely worth it and so exciting. well they turned out <laughs> yes amazing we love Thanks. all of them um and now if you guys have questions go ahead and 
just put them in the little comment box and we will try and get through all of them. I'm like, Grace, you're such a rock star. There's so many people on here to see you. Um, I love this. We have some that say you're my favorite gymnast. So pretty. <laughs> all the amazing things. Do you see any questions on here, Grace, that you want to run through? Let's see. Oh, there's one question. Which one is my favorite? And I can't really choose a favorite. I love all of them so much because they all have such a special meaning to me in some way. So, it's hard Which to is a very fair answer. <laughs> totally. I'm the same way. I'm like, I can't even pick my favorite. Oh. Um, let's see. I'm going back all the way to the top here. All right. We have lots of people just saying hi, how much they love your leotards, which, hey, I'll take it. You can add <laughs> that all in the comment box. We love that. Um, oh, what's my favorite like color? Oh, yeah. That's a good oh. one. I just saw that. I don't know. I really love the ombre of this one, how it goes from, like, the white to, like, the bright pink. I think that's really pretty. Um, but kind of like the, a, pink. the blue and white and the pink and white are kind of like my signature colors. So mm -hmm. yeah, I really like those. <laughs> no, they, they turned out really, really good. I love them. So happy with how they came out. Yeah. I bet you were excited to wake up this morning. It's like Christmas, right? I saw you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I have a leotard line. It's <laughs> yeah. live right now. <laughs> Crazy. It's like, amazing. A million years that I have my own leotard line. Cause I remember I'd like get like the Sean Johnson ones or the Nasty ones. And I'm like, totally. Oh, so cool. And now this is yours and everything's custom <laughs> to you. I mean, that is pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, well, I guess, let's see. Oh, what was the name of the last one? The last one was the, you held up the black and white one. I can't remember. What is this one called? We have Amazing Grace. We have. Quiet Confidence. Quiet Confidence. I'm drawing a blank too. I think this one's just brave, right? Brave. I think it might be brave. I can pull it up. Let's see. I don't want to swipe out of this because I don't want it to pause. But uh -huh. if you guys go to the Ozone website, you can see everything there and it will give the background story of each leotard and your collection. So just head to the site. It's right on our, in our Instagram. You'll see the link there. So just in case you guys have any more questions on that. And then let's see, I'm making sure we didn't miss any other questions. Well, I guess, Grace, is there anything else that you want to add? Um, I don't think so. How are I'm you really feeling? Are you excited? Are you like? Yeah, I'm so excited about this Leo collection. And I hope you guys all love it as much as I do. Because um, a lot of work been, was put into this, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think everybody totally loves it. I've been seeing all of the shares on Instagram and everyone's stories. So Ready for all they the are awesome. So, well, Grace, thank you so much for popping on here and just yeah. answering any questions. Everyone, you have about 60 seconds to give us a few more questions if you have anything else that you want to ask. And Grace, last but not least, do you have anything else you want to add? Oh, here's a good question. Oh, Wait. okay. How long did it take you to come up with the Leo designs? Ooh. That is a good question because I don't even know. It took me kind of a while. I mean, definitely a couple of weeks because I wasn't sure what colors I wanted my Leos, how I wanted them to look. Um, but I knew, like, I think the first thing I found out, like, figured out was, like, what colors I wanted my Leos. And then I was like, okay, what mm -hmm. kind of designs do I want? And then they're like, I think it'd be really cool if, you kind of did replicas of your favorite competition leos that you had and then i got to yeah. design my own um from scratch and so that one took a while but it when it was a lot of back and forth like do you think the back on this will look mm -hmm. better or you know all that so hard go, to get it just right totally. oh yeah and like sure. what blue do you want what shade of pink do you want do you want an ombre do you want this or where do you want these gems mm -hmm. and stuff yeah Tough. it's a lot of work for sure <laughs> and then we had another question that said what do they each mean or what inspired the designs which again you guys can click the link in our bio on our instagram and head to the website and you will be able to find that um yeah. 
I guess, Grace, if you want to answer a few more questions, we have just some, what is your favorite event? Do you want to answer that? Sure. Yeah. My favorite okay. event to train is probably bars, but my favorite event to compete is probably floor. Okay. But I love it, so. <laughs> cool. Love that. Um, which leotard was the most fun to create? Well, that's a really good question. Create. But I think this one was fun just because I designed it from scratch. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. But, that's awesome. But, and you keep going back to that one. So I feel like that is definitely your favorite. Yeah. I think yeah. it's just so special to me. <laughs> it's, it's great. Thanks. It's also so classic, too. I'm like, you can't yeah. go wrong with a nice black leotard, right? Classic black Leo. Mm -hmm. so totally. For sure. Um, let's see here. Anything else? Do you see any other questions? Oh, here's a good question. Okay. What was the hardest injury to come back from? Um, well, I had two major injuries. I dislocated my elbow and had total elbow reconstruction. <laughs> Which that was a hard one only because, I mean, I had a 50-50 chance of coming back to gymnastics at the skill level. Mm -hmm. I, and it was a nine-month recovery. But I was young, so thankfully, I came back pretty good. And I worked on Sounds my leg. painful. <laughs> yeah, I came back stronger than before, which was great. But I think my hand, which wasn't as big of an injury, but that one was, I think, harder for me just because of the timing. Because it happened in January of 2021. And mm -hmm. Olympic June. And I, it was like a three month long recovery. And so I was like, I have very little oh time. Gosh. So it was really so stressful. Yeah. So I was really stressed throughout that whole recovery. Yeah. A lot of setbacks because I pulled fingers, like my jammed my middle finger. I pulled muscle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just everything that went or could go wrong did. So. That sounds not fun at all. <laughs> but you made it through it, right? Perfect. You're tough. Totally. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Where did you get your inspiration to do these? Which I feel like you kind of answered all of those. And again, you can always go to the website. Our link is in the bio and you can kind of see the background of the background story of each leotard. Um, oh yeah, someone did just ask, how's your hand? Um, let's see, we can answer one more. We answered what's your favorite event? My gosh, there's so many questions on here. <laughs> Lots of where did you get your inspiration for the Leos? Yeah. Would you kind of answer that? But if you want to answer it one last time, I feel like we're getting a lot of questions on that. Um, my inspiration. You can put it in short. Kind of my journey from elite to college and they each have a different meaning behind it. And they each represent different like kind of milestones in my career. So, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, Grace, let's see. I'm looking. Let's answer one more. Okay. Only because I want to know. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite skill? My favorite skill? Ooh. That one's a hard one. But I probably have to say a double double off bars or on mm -hmm. floor. Just because it's just fun to twist that much. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I'd be too scared to do that. <laughs> All right. Well, Grace, you are amazing. Thank you so much for getting on here. I know it's late at night after practice. You're exhausted. Um, <laughs> but we at Ozone are so excited about your line. And everyone that's on here, again, you can follow the link in our bio. And you can find Grace's line there. And then all the information. And we're good to go. Awesome. Anything else you want to add, Grace? Um, I don't think so. No. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have you back on here sometime soon. Oh, yeah. So we'll see you <laughs> soon and you get some sleep and some rest. Thank you. All right, Grace. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.